Today we look at the Connect 190 RB travel trailer. Hey, welcome to Two Camping Gurus. If you like camping in the great outdoors, you are in the right place. All right, so we're gonna get right to it. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough and I'm gonna talk about it while I'm in the unit. And then when we uh, wrap that up so you can see really what it looks like really quick, we'll come back and I'll do a little bit of a recap of what I thought um, after the fact. So let's get right to it and take a look. All right, now we're looking at the Connect which is, is another brand I have not looked at yet. And it's the C190RB. So I'd say it's rear bathroom, dual axle, which I like. Um, well, this one's not bad. This is very, you got your, um, you got your Murphy bed up front, which I'm assuming is a couch. Oh, no, it's not. So this is not a couch. That's just a bed with storage. And <clears throat> fail. You do have the kitchen on the side that I like, and you have your dinette on the side. You do have a two-door refrigerator, and you have a nice bathroom. So it's got some cool features. The mistake they made with this particular one is it's not a Murphy bed. Uh, aside from it not having a Murphy bed, it's almost identical. Plenty of storage. Yeah, this Again, be ideal. this is just like the Sonic that we like without the Murphy bed. So they may have one yeah. Yeah. that has the Murphy bed. You know, two year warranty. Oh, what's the price on this, just out of curiosity? So these are a little high, 2700 I mean $27,000, a little bit higher. They're definitely higher than the Sonics. And it's a 23 foot, it's the model 190 RB. The weight is 3,700 pounds, so it's about the same size weight as the one we were looking at, too. All right, so as you can see, um, I really like this setup. The one thing I wish it had was the Murphy bed in the front, and then it would be really um, almost identical to a Sonic that I like. I do like the construction of the Sonic because they use huck bolts in the frames, where I don't think that is the case in the Kinect. The, the frame is a welded frame. Um, still a good unit. Uh, I haven't done a lot of research on these, but... As you can see, we walk through this one. Um, the bed is in the front, uh, which is great, but it does not turn into that couch, uh, which would be fantastic. And then as we walk to the back, your dinette would be on your left-hand side, which as you walk into the back, that is your passenger side, which is where you would be sitting, looking out that side window and looking at your campsite. Uh, and then, of course, straight in the back is the bathroom, and a pretty decent bathroom in there. And then on the right-hand side of the unit inside is the kitchen area. So this is a, a really ideal setup for us. It's really what we'll look for. Now, there's no slides on this unit, and I'm really 50-50 on slide uh, because I want to keep the, late, uh, the, the weight down. We are towing with a uh, Toyota Highlander, so... Um, anytime you put a slide on, of course, the weight inc increases. But this is something you have to think about for yourself because if we had a kitchen slide on this particular unit or this type of a layout, really opens up the space inside these units, gives you a lot of living space. So think about if that bed was a Murphy bed turned into a couch and you had a slide, a uh, kitchen slide in that unit, that would be a huge living space and if you're out boondocking on a rainy day where you can't sit outside as easily and do stuff having that space inside really cuts down on the uh, feeling of claustrophobic which i'm not a claustrophobic person uh, and neither is my wife but it's nice to have that additional space that additional openness for your home if you're going to be doing this full time which is what we plan on doing eventually uh, but again these videos are really just uh, us out looking and providing information for you if you are also in the process of trying to choose the right camper for you um, none of these are right or wrong for any particular person it really has to be uh, what you are looking for are you going to be in it full time are you going to be in it part time are you going to be in it vacation time only all of these things come into a factor and inclu including the cost of them as well and the, sh the structure and the build and all that type of stuff if you're going to have it for long term if you're going to be trading in so these are things to look at this is not a top end unit but it's a nice unit and for me it's the layout that's super important and then of course you know tank sizes and stuff like that come into play if you're gonna be boondocking we'll get into some of that in some other videos things like that all right I'm glad you stuck around this long so what I want you to do now is take a minute and come
comment on this video if you have something to say what you, what you like what you didn't like also hit that like button it really means a lot to me it's easy to do and another thing that's really easy for you is to click the share button this unit may not be right for you but it only takes you a second to click that share and somebody that sees it might really like this unit so it gets that information out there and it's a huge help for me uh, in growing my channel and I really appreciate it. it doesn't cost you anything you just hit that share button and last but not least don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos now if you are looking at going camping and you're thinking about you know heading out onto the open road you want to make sure you're ready so what I've done is I've included a, a link to a free ebook that I have as well as a pre-trip checklist to make sure you and your unit are ready for the road it's right down in the description go ahead and click on that and you can download that and it's going to give you some uh, things to look for and things to check before you hit the open road if you want to put in your browser you can it's pretripchecklist.gr8.com but again just as easy to click on the link and swing over there and pick that up for no charge to you i'd appreciate that as well and of course you have a great day and as always have fun camping